Compression test, okay, is just simply applying a downward pressure, um, typically through the shoulder blades, okay? So having the person sit up in a neutral position and then simply placing the compressive load, okay? Now you can tweak that in a more forward flex position if you want, have the person flex forward, and once again, the pressure is straight down, or also in a slightly extended position. I can extend her backwards, um, scoot forward in the chair just a little bit. I can have the person extend it through their, their, their thoracic spine and then put the compression through that, okay? With, in, in, a, in the neutral position, I'm kind of, all the structures, if I'm in a slightly flexed position, maybe more the anterior structures, the vertebral bodies. If I'm in a more extended position and I'm compressing, maybe focusing those forces more on the um, facet joints, correct? All right. It's gonna be a little hard for me to, um, can we turn the, the, the chair about 90 degrees? No, um, that, that's fine, that's, that's good. Um, you're gonna to wanna to move those. Okay. So the distraction test, I'm simply trying to unload her spine and, and give it a little bit of a distraction. So what I'm gonna ask the patient to do is cross their arms over their chest and try to get their elbows nice and close to each other. Okay, so Bree's seen me do that. I'm gonna come from behind Bree, squat down into her position. I am gonna interlock my fingers, or you wanna grab the elbows, but for myself, I'm gonna interlock the fingers and I'm going to, to give, put, put her spine right up against mine, so I have her here, and then I'm just gonna do just a little bit of a lift. Just kind of distracting her spine and then relax. And then I'm trying to see if that feels what changes in her pain. It, hopefully I'm getting a little bit of a pain relief or that, oh, that feels really good because I'm stretching it out, decompressing the area. So that's the compression and distraction test. Those are not in the, uh, the Olsen books or the McGee books, but those are ones that you can definitely start to do. Okay?